I'm constantly traveling around the world, spending no longer than three to six months in a different place. Yet, I've managed to build very strong habits that stick to my everyday life no matter what my day-to-day -day looks like. It doesn't matter if you're a teenager, a college student, or working a full-time job. With the tricks I'm gonna share with you in this video, you too can build strong habits that will stick with you for life. Rule number one, what gets measured gets managed. I'm a very numbers oriented guy. And so the first thing that I do is I figure out if I'm going to build a habit, how can I measure it? For example, with fitness, I wanted to make sure that I get to 190 pounds and 13% body fat. And so I found a thing that lets me measure that well, which is a DEXA scan. It lets me know the exact breakdown between fat, muscle, and bone in my body. In the past, I used to try and measure my fitness by how much I weigh, and I found that that was a very inaccurate way of tracking. The more accurate the tracking mechanism, the more motivated I am to complete the goal because I know I'm working on the correct data. Number two, make it easy also known as follow the energy. So when I seek to create habits, they starts from who do I want to be? What are the goals that I have in my life? And so for example, around fitness, I have specific goals. And so I don't include like bad food in the house and I just make it easy to have good habits. And so another example is if you want to read, always have a book by your bed. If you want to journal, have your journal by your bed. For me, if I'm about to go on a flight, I always make sure to download three audiobooks ahead of time and always have a stack of books ready for me to listen to because that's something that's really important to me. Whenever I go to a new place, I make sure that there's a gym nearby. And if there isn't, I buy weights and put them in the house so that I can use them. Next rule is spend time with friends who are motivating to you. This is probably the number one hack in my life when it comes to making myself a better person. And it doesn't need to be that people are more advanced than you at the specific skill. It just needs to be that they're more motivated than you at the specific skill, because it's something that they'll talk about, they'll think about, they'll write about, they'll do. And when you see other people do, you follow along. For example, there was a period where for some reason I started cursing more than I am used to it and I wanted to stop. And so my friend Chaitu and I came to an agreement. Every time I would say a curse word, I would drop and do 10 push-ups no matter where we were, and Chaitu would do it with me. And this happened very consistently. And this ended up being a really fine exercise. Whenever there was something that I was trying to stop, Chaitu and I would do the same game. But every time we do a different physical exercise, it's just a lot more fun when you have someone else doing it with you. Next, know your weaknesses. So for me, I have dyslexia, I have ADHD, I have many other faults. And I think that one of the, my strengths is the fact that I know where I am weak and I make sure to build scaffolding around that. For example, I am so easily distracted. And so I make sure that I work in an area that has less distractions than normal. But when I know that I'm up to no good, I ask a friend to work next to me and they'll point out when I'm off my mark. Especially when Speechify started and I was motivating myself, I worked next to my brother Tyler or next to my friend Simon and it made it a lot easier. So doing collaborative work for me ends up being really powerful and making sure I stay focused. The other thing is no matter how much I tried or how many times I've tried, I become easily addicted to social media. And so I'm just extreme about it. I get only two minutes of Instagram per day, two minutes of TikTok per day. YouTube doesn't even exist on my phone. And all of them are blocked, not with a screen time, but with a child safety lock. And everybody around me knows the password to my screen time, but I don't. And so it's not like after 15 minutes, it tells me, oh, like stop, but I can undo it. No, I can't undo it without anybody else. And so if I'm traveling by myself, there's just no way for me to unlock that thing. And it's not only for like Instagram and you know TikTok. I use it on the browser. Like I can't even use Safari or Chrome for more than five minutes a day without somebody locking me in. And you know what? Life ends up being better when you're not stuck inside your phone, when you actually have conversations with other people next to you on the plane. The other thing that works really well for me is I use ad block to not only block ads, but to block the divs on the HTML, on the recommendations on YouTube or the homepage of LinkedIn. Like anything that I see will distract me. I set up a system where it's just removed from my digital life and will allow me to go back to controlling my own time. And finally, write it out and say it out loud. Especially in college, there were a lot of habits that I wanted to develop and a lot of goals that I wanted to hit. So what I would do is whenever I would make new friends or to my existing friends, I would tell them what I wanted to do. For example, with Speechify, I wanted to make sure that I was coding five hours a day every single day in Xcode. And if I didn't, I had a consequence. I had to do 200 pull-ups and 300 push-ups by 9 a.m. the next morning. So I got really good at doing push-ups and pull-ups. And when you follow the energy, keep yourself accountable, know your weaknesses, and set big, hairy, audacious goals, your life A becomes very interesting, and B, turns out you end up actually hitting your goals. It might take you a little bit more time, but eventually you will. And the last thing I'll leave you with is a quote by Abraham Lincoln, which is one of my favorite quotes. You cannot fail unless you quit. So here's the beautiful thing about habits. You can't fail with them. If you don't hit it the first week, you can always do it the second, the third, the fourth. It doesn't matter. As long as you keep going and you never quit, you can never fail. And the best example of that for me is reading. I have a dad who really values education and my entire childhood drilled into me how important it was to read. And so every day I tried to read and every day I did not succeed, but it was not something I was willing to quit on. And so I ended up building a software called Speechify that would read out books to me at four to five X speed. And to this day, I use Speechify every single day to read more than 300,000 words per week. If you wanna learn more about habits, productivity hacks, and how to get the most out of life, check out some of the other videos on the channel. And with that, happy listening.